What's going on, everybody? Welcome to The International Farmer. Today is the 18th, at least in my neck of the woods, of February 2022. And we've got another handful of new mods. Uh, like always, this is going to be all cross-platform information. I like to keep it that way so there's no confusion. Um, so let's dive right into it. Here's something I wish would have been happening yesterday instead of today, but hey, it's here. It's finally here. The old stream farm has gotten its update. So if anybody was using this, they noticed some issues. Well, here's what all has been fixed. Uh, they fixed the problem of placing fences on the farm. They fixed the silo grain, which was my biggest problem. <laughs> the pipe has been lowered. So now you can use smaller trailers, which that's what I like to use on this farm because it's more of a small small farming equipment type of farm in my opinion. So they fixed the pipe, it's lower now, you should have no problems. Uh, they've done a lot of other fixes and removed the siren in the village, traffic pedestrians fixed. Um, they fixed that sign at the store that said Cody's Straw. Uh, they fixed that. They adapted the cow feed. Now it holds 112,500 liters for 150 cows. They also added multi-fruit storage in the silo grain. And now uh, the trigger for the milk has been corrected and some flying trees have been replaced. They moved a lot of bumps in certain fields that made it hard to uh, you know, do your work on the fields. New save is recommended. There's parts of this that say you don't need to have a new save, but if you're wanting all these fixes to take place, just start a new game save. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's by Black Sheep Modding. That is an update to the old stream farm. All right, next up is a brand new tractor, the Fent 500 Favorite. All right, we're gonna check this thing out. It's made by Moose Agrar. And it's gonna cost you about 76,000 bucks, 115 horsepower. Uh, it's got beacons, carpet, number plate, front PTO, any others. Uh, you got a different selection of engines and uh, mouse control will open the doors, front window, back window, and roof window if you, you're on PC. But this is a cross-platform tractor. Check out some of the screenshots there. Nice little fent, and I already messed with it. You can change, there's like five to six different colors. You can change the rim color. You can give it different setup on the wheels. Uh, in the thumbnail of today's video, you'll see this tractor. And it looks different than right here, but it's pretty cool how you can dress it up to your imagination. All right, so that's the Fent 500 favorite. Next, we're gonna look at the Kloss Barrio pack. This is header's pack for your harvesters. And it's made by M Cody 98. Cost 27,000, 5 to 6.6 .6 working width. That's for the 560 and so on. Looks like we have six different sizes to choose from. Starting all the way from 5.6 width all the way up to 13.8. So you got your small harvesters all the way up to your big daddies. And of course, the prices fluctuate. Uh, looks like operating speed is the same for all of them, but that's going to work on your Takano, your Tryon, and your Lexi, which is all your class harvesters. All right, got the screenshots. Smallest one, it looks like. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, next up is the Lizard Platform Trailers. These have auto load. You can turn that on or off, depending on how you like to take care of your bales. So it does have auto load enabled or disabled. It's made by Hispano, and it's got a different selection again. You got one, two, three, four different size trailers. Uh, dimensions 8.5 to 2.6 meters. Auto load 28 bales for the first one. Uh, let's see, 32 bales for the next, 36, and 42 for the biggest one. So up to 42 bales on this this biggest trailer here. Check out the screenshots. I also downloaded that. You can put different uh, racks on the front and back. And that's interesting. It's got ramps. <laughs> so there are ramps on the biggest trailer that it looks like you can drive a vehicle on there if you want. 
you want to get crazy. Alrighty then. That's cool. But there you go. There's the racks. Very nice. So I already downloaded that. That's going to be in my new repertoire. All right. Next up is the Trans 70 by Raleigh Christie VSR Modding Sir. Let's see if we got more information from the website here. Uh, let's see. It's a trailer with two loading options. Give you some pictures here. Uh, one for closed silos, and the other option is raising the drawer from the back to the front. You can also raise and lower the central bar. Main color setting, wheel configuration, rim color configuration. Price is going to be 36000 with a capacity of 70,000 liters. And that is the Trans 70. So there's the rear dump. That's interesting so it's lifted up rear but dumping out must have like a built-in conveyor i guess so there you go that is the trans 70 by raleigh christie one all right next up we got the stara ninja 19 000, pack this is an auger wagon nice to see some extra new auger wagons there's not a whole lot of them out there uh, same here, we got the perfect for large and small farms, lightweight and with good capacity. The Star Ninja 19,000 is going to cost you 38,000 with 19,000 liters. And then the Reboke Ninja 33,000 holds 33,000 liters, but it's going to cost you 66 grand. So here's some uh, screenshots of that. I use these on 19 as well. These were on 19. Nice little auger wagons. All right, and that's by Raleigh Christie one also. All right, and moving on, we got the John Deere HX20 by Black Sheep Modding, the same guy who makes the Old Stream Farm map. He's brought you a new MOA. Let's check this bad boy out. It does have mulcher option. So if you want to just mulch your grass and not have anything left over, there is an option for that. And it's John Deere branded. You have two selections on the tires. I think they're like John Deere and Lizard or Michelin, one or the other. But yeah, you got two little selections on tires. But nice looking mod. That's if you're wanting to mulch your field, your old stubble, or if you're just wanting to mulch some grass just to get it out of your way or cut it. You can cut it or mulch it. Just keep that in mind. All right, next up is the John Deere 622X. And again, I'm going to have to see if there's info on that. That's by uh, Melody98. And it's the 622X. It's going to cost you 40500 Working width of 6.7 meters. Working speed 10 kilometers per hour. Again, everything we're showing today is cross-platform. I got the prices on that. It's a much smaller header for small, medium-sized farms looking quite lovely so you would attach that to your smaller harvester all right let's move on to the lemkin d24 the lemkin d24 this is by a dub modding abp team lemkin d24 the plow is based off a plow from the 1940s six hundred dollars one meter working width with 10 horsepower required so super, super small, as you can see in the screenshot. Just a little trail there. Uh, yeah. If you like really, really small time farming, then there you go. That's by a dub modding ABP team. All right, next we're looking at the Steppa FHL 13AK. Sounds like a weapon. All right, it's made by Nico73 Modding. I'll look up some information real quick on that. Uh, this timber trailer is configurable. It allows to load wood or round bales. Price, 54000 Number of bales, eight. Uh, has different wheels, trail board, Continental, and BKT. And that's going to, of course, be in your bale loaders category. That is not auto. you got to do that yourself there. So that's all manual loading, so have fun and try not to rage quit. All right, but it's cool for those that like... Uh, manual loading of bales or logs all right let's go on to the next one which is the lizard 1260 kilogram weight all right this is made by pet the author is pet 
All right, let's check out the screenshots. Looks like you can change the color there. That'd be nice. Let it match your tractor if you want. Yeah, there's the class color matching. Blue, black, red. So you can color coordinate to your tractors. Very nice, very nice. All right, next up is the offset mass holder. The offset mass holder. Sounds scary. All right, mass carrier with hydraulic offset. Price 1500 Weight 1200 kilogram by Fred Auden. Check out the screenshots for that. It's way out there, huh? Yeah, that's like way out in front. There you go. More weights added to the mod hub for you if you like a large selection of weights. All right, next up is some new things that uh, you can use to decorate your farm, which is pretty cool. We got the placeable vehicle pack. And it's exactly what it is. It's placeable vehicles, and a lot of them, by Alien Jim, our main man, the creator of No Man's Land, which is, I think, my favorite map ever made. I love it. I love being able to use my imagination. And here's one more example of using your imagination. You have a placeable vehicle spec. So all of these can just be placed wherever you want on your farm. Nice. I love the old rustic, like the rusty old equipment sitting out in the fields so yeah you can get creative with your imagination we got construction vehicles you could you know make a little road work area just for visual effects just to bring the map to life all right that is awesome uh we also have placeable objects pack which again from alien gym this time it's a bunch of objects we got stones uh, we got chairs boxes buckets benches tables uh a snowman, outhouse, all kinds of stuff that you can place. And again, this is to bring the map to life. Ooh, we even got parking spots for vehicles. So if you want to make like a little parking lot for a factory, add some cars to it, just bring the map to life. That is awesome. Definitely. I've already downloaded it. So <laughs> awesome mod right there. And again, from Alien Gym is placeable buildings pack get to place buildings. Got all kinds of stuff. These aren't buildings that you'll be able to interact with. It's just for decoration purposes to bring your farm to life. So there are tons of them too, huh? Look at that. Make your own little village. A little market shop, houses, looks like a hotel maybe. Some old barns that are just for visual, so keep that in mind. All right, that's from Alien Gym. Three new packs in a row from Alien Gym. Uh, next up is My Cow Pastial. And let's check out the info on that. Large pasture for cows with animation of lights and doors made of galvanized structure and sheet roof. And the roof colors can be changed. It has a capacity of 490 cows. And we got the price at 150,000, dimensions 70 by 50 meters. All right. That's a lizard building manufacturer. It'll be under animal pens when you're constructing on your map. And it's made by Raleigh Christie One. Check out the screenshots here. Yeah, I downloaded that too. I download everything. My, you should see my folder. It's ridiculous. All right, let's move on to Grain Storage's pack. This is by Camilos0397. And this is a grain storage in modern European style. Uh, you got some different selection. Uh, let's check out the screenshots here. So we have the smallest one is a concrete barrier. Let's look at these photos here. There's a concrete barrier right there. I'm trying to understand what that means. Oh, you can place the concrete barriers. Gotcha. So those are only 50 bucks each for these little barriers. And then we have the metal shed, which I'm thinking is this thing right here. That's 15,000 bucks, 16 by 10 meters. And then we have the grain storage in modern European style, which is one of the two here. That's going to cost you 35000 I'm thinking it's this one. And uh, it's 35 by 20 meter. And then the big one 
is your grain storage European style 35 by 32 price 55,000 55 upkeep for daily upkeep there you go looks like it has the indoor storage where you back in store your grains pretty cool that's a big European style way of uh, storing your crops so that's by Camilos0397 all right, next up is Low Cost Silos by Urshaba, VSR Modding Sir. Urshaba is the guy who just made that new uh, The Calm Lands map yesterday. So I noticed these silos were in the game from him. So he's now made it placeable, which is pretty cool. So these are just cheaper and cool old school looking silos. Interesting way it's like a funnel set up like a funnel there uh let me see what kind of info we have on that it says multi-fruit silo with extensions included combat compatible with workers All right so you got price ranges from thirty thousand to forty five thousand on the multi-fruit and then the extensions are ten to fifteen thousand one million liters can be stored in the big mama and the grain silo extension, 500,000 liters. And the little multi-fruit silo holds 500,000 liters as well. But that is nice. Nice to have a nice selection of silos. All right, then we got old manure heap. The old manure heap, where you can store your poop. By Black Sheep Modding, old stream farm creator there. And it's a place to store manure. And that's it is what it is. That's actually built into Old Stream, but now he has it where you can place it wherever you want. See? You just put it wherever you want. You want a little bit of outdoor action somewhere different on the map? Up here's the upper slope on where the main farm is on Old Stream. Place a bunch of poop manure heaps there. Very nice. All right, let's back out and check out the ESC Large Shed by dh modding check out the screenshots here see what information we have all right esc large shed prices range from thirty thousand to forty thousand that's all we have on info but it, i mean it is what it is it's a shed it's big very big looks like you can store some of your large equipment in there very nice all right next we have vehicle shelter metal and that's by Black Sheep Modding again. A lot of stuff from Black Sheep today. Check out the screenshots. Nice, nice. Got that, got that old feeling. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Got that discolored metal sheeting on top. I'll definitely be using that on my farms. All right, next is another one. This is going to be under your generator uh section in your game your generator when you're building stuff you'll see production and then tab generators this will make you a little bit of money let's see how much since it's not showing us uh metal water tower it's going to cost you twenty three thousand. it's going to bring you 480 per month so it is a generator and you're building it all right that's by nico pixels Here's some nice screenshot, and it does animate. It turns with the wind. Very cool. And that's also in today's thumbnail, so you can see what it looks like next to other equipment. Pretty sharp. Good looking. Good looking water wind turbine. All right, modern hay storage is up next. This is by the Lord. The modern hay storage. Let's uh, find out what all it does. This is a hay store works like the hay store from the main game uh that's not true though store rich i think is what he meant because you're not selling it you're storing it so it costs you ninety thousand, and you can you can store up to two hundred and fifty thousand liters so that don't be you know don't be confused that's not a sell point that is a place to store your hay or your straw all right so you dump it in here, then you go to the other side to get it out. Very nice, very nice. All right, next up's Productions Pack. Productions Pack by The Lort, once again. Back out, check out the info. Production package included are a pig feed production, a mixed ration production, and a silage production. 
Uh, pig feed's 20,000. Mixed is 20,000. Silage is 20,000. He could have just said all three are 20,000. But hey, there's extra typing for him to put in there. That's fine. <laughs> so here you go. Here's some photos on it. Nice. If you're wanting to get extra fancy with all that, there you go. That's the productions pack by the Lord. All right, what do we got here? Use of leftovers. Hmm? Delicious. All right, use of leftovers. That's an interesting title. Let's see exactly what that means. All right, in these bunker silos, you can fill your leftovers like wheat, sorghum, oats. All right. So if your silo, I guess, is sitting at the brim and uh, you have no space left, you could put the leftovers in a bunker. Completely up to you. I don't think I'm going to do it, but hey, whatever floats your boat, man. Uh, looks like whatever those leftovers are, are instantly turning in to silage to ferment. That's interesting. All right. Kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Next. We are going to go over to the BR water tank. This is by DH Modding, and it's a water tank. Right? It's simply a water tank. I hope you understand that it's nothing more, nothing less. It is a water tank. Do you understand? All right, it's going to cost you 20000 10 per day in maintenance, and that's by DH Modding. Screenshots for you. There you go. Alrighty then. I imagine you're going to have to pay for that water. It might be free. I don't know. It doesn't say if it's free or if you have to pay for it, so I'm not sure. All right, next up, Decorative Rock Pack. I mean, do I have to explain what that is? That's by Ola Haldar, and that is exactly what it is. It's a Decorative Rock Pack. If you like throwing rocks down on you, you look ball. I like the way it see. I see what he did there. One picture without, one picture with. That's pretty cool. I'll probably actually download that. I like I like the decoration packs. Water fountains pack, same thing. Got a different selection of water fountains. Uh, we got the old hollowed out log. We got the old well. Got the stone well with the little... I don't know why I just did that, but I did. So that's the water fountains pack by Puma. 145. All right, then we got some updates. These are for uh, harvesters that some of you may have used in the past. They, they got some updates today. That's the uh, JHHG modding author, the John Deere S700 series. So that got updated. Let's see what new things happened to it for you. All right, all right. Let's see. What did he fix? New features. Fully realistic displays all the new turning on animations, HUDs and dashboards, numbers and animations. Fully Americanized version. All U.S. decals and stickers, proper U.S. spreaders, track systems, U.S. wheel spacing and sizes, U.S. grain tanks configurations, extremity lights, U.S. flashers, work like turn lights and default lights depending from which lights will be turned on. Edited model for more proper U.S. version, realistic S700 threshing sounds. Cutted off and scripted second monitor for GPS display. Spreader works only when we will select swath. When we select straw, spreader will fold and turn off. Bottom interior details like dashboard icons for beacons, light stages, hazards, turn lights, all real number dashboards for worked hours, work hectares, operating time, speed, RPM, capacity, temperature, fuel usage, and fuel capacity. Woo! And there's more. So a lot of stuff has been fixed on this harvester. And this is made by him as well, so I'm thinking a lot of those same things. John Deere 600 series and 700 series. If you already had it updated, if you've never used it, use it. I use it. Super detailed, awesome harvesters. Woo! Next up is the Avant series. All right, this was also, I believe, an update. Yeah, update. Let's see, what did they change on it? Uh, they added a Snowblower 1500 and some optimization. So those are the things you'll find out new if you are already using these. 
So there's a snow blower option now. I think that's it right there. Cool. So you shovel the snow and it blows it out to the side. Very nice. All right, next up is the new Holland SP.400F. That is also an update. So if you were using it before, then you might want to update it. Change log, main color, one to three choices, rim color now, beacon lights, and decorative beacon lights. Uh, defaults added, not possible to fill from the trailer, has been fixed. So those are the fixes for the new Holland sprayer. And I don't know if anybody else has used this. That thing unfolds like a turtle. Beautiful mod, but man, it takes like seven days for that thing to unfold. <laughs> But still, an awesome extra sprayer vehicle if you're wanting to mix it up. That's by Land Dev. All right, ladies and gentlemen, powerful spotlights pack. Looks like we have an update on that as well. And that is a pack of high power spotlights on the change log. They've added high altitude model with switch or automatic for 180 degree lighting. And they added half altitude model with switch or automatic for 180 degree lighting. So for those of you that were using it, make sure you update it. Those are the changes. That is the powerful spotlights pack. And they are powerful. They light up the whole area. Uh, so there you go. If you like working at night, definitely check that out. That's by Vanquish081. Uh, we covered all the other stuff yesterday. That is everything for today. What do we got? Six. One, two, three, four, five. Five times six is 30. 31, 32, 33 mods were either new or updated. 33. Holy cow. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. A little longer than usual. About 27 minutes. Dang. Enjoy your new mods, chat. Definitely update your old stream and start a new profile so you don't have to mess with any other issues. Thank you so much to Black Sheep Modding for the update. Love the map. And uh, thank you all modders for just continuing to add all this cool stuff to make Farm Sim 22 a beautiful game to play. That's it. That's me, guys. It's the International Farmer. I'm signing off. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch you on the next one.